Joe McNeil out here at the Golf Club of Texas. We're going to work on sand shots in today's video. I'm going to show you how to set up for a short shot, how to set up for a long bunker shot, and how you can get out of the sand in one shot every time, guaranteed. All right, so here we have about a 15-yard uh, bunker shot. I've got my 60 degree I'm going to play this with, but you can play this with a 56 or even a 52 and I'll show you that. Uh, what we want to do though is get a little bit wider stance. Okay, we're going to grip this club just like I showed you in the grip video. And I'm going to put my nose and sternum back behind the ball because I want to catch that sand first and land it on the green. Now this is the only shot in golf that you're not trying to hit the ball. We're just trying to hit the sand. You can see here, maybe two inches or so behind the ball. You know, a lot of, a lot of people teach just, just hit it two inches behind the ball, but I'm gonna show you the setup and hopefully make this a little more clear for you so that you can get out of the sand in one shot. So, we get my grip, I'm gonna open the face just a little bit. I'm gonna point my stance a little bit to the left. Nose and sternum back behind the ball. And then we're just gonna do a nice little rotation and a big follow through. As you can see, I struck the sand first, the ball popped out, landed, and then released a little toward the hole. Try that next time you don't have a whole lot of green to work with, lob wedge or sand wedge, nose and sternum at the back of the ball, Nice smooth tempo, big follow through. See if you don't get up and down for par. Right here, I've got a longer bunker shot. I put an alignment rod at the back of the green. This is about a 30 yard, 25, 30 yard shot. I'm gonna use, I could hit a lob wedge really hard to get it there, but that's gonna have excessive spin on it. So I'm gonna use my gap wedge here and I'm gonna show you how I set up for that. So a little bit more of a narrow stance. Again, nose and sternum at the back of the ball. I'm gonna hit the sand first, but I'm gonna swing pretty big like it's a 30 yard shot here and this should fly all the way out towards that alignment rod. Oh, hit the stick. Beautiful result. All right, so one thing you wanna look for in your bunker shots, good players have a nice sounding thump as that ball comes through. And they're, they're striking that with the bounce of the club, which is right back here on a wedge. So when you're hitting that, you know, we're not, hit, we're not coming into the sand with the leading edge here. That's the leading edge. You can see how I dug right down in that sand. If I use the bounce, you can see how it's just nice, crisp, a little bit bigger than a dollar bill, indention in the bunker. So we're gonna set this one up. This is gonna be a nice high shot with a lob wedge, a little bit wider stance, open club face so we come into the sand with the, with the bounce. And this is gonna be a pretty big swing. See how nice and high that went? Nice high shots start with an open club face and entering the sand with the bounce of the club. Give that a try, get some practice in and see the different types of shots you can play out of the sand. All right, so this is what we call a fried egg in the bunker, and these scare a lot of guys. To play this, I'm gonna change my setup a little bit, and I'm actually gonna play this at the back of my stance here with a closed club face, nose and sternum at the front of the ball. This thing's gonna, what we call a chunk and run. Here we go with a lob wedge, a lot of loft. Comes out nicely. We got about three feet left for par. Easy up and down. Tough lie here. So a fried egg, but it's on the side of the hill. So I'm gonna grab very little loft in my gap wedge. I'm gonna aim a little bit to the right because this is gonna wanna uh, exit to the left here. Oh, nicely. Got that out of there, roll on the green. Not a great chance to save par, but we eliminated double bogey from the equation. Okay, so I've got a trouble bunker shot here that gives a lot of people trouble. Ball below the feet. And the tendency here is to hit this real thin 
and hit it about 40 yards. So I'm gonna get real low to the ground here, get my grip. I'm playing this with the lob wedge, nose and sternum at the back of the ball. Now you're gonna do a big swing, but again, keeping in the posture so we get good, clean contact. The ball's gonna try to come out and leak to the right, so we're gonna aim a little bit to the left to compensate. Big, smooth swing. Ooh, came out nicely. Nice and high, see the spin to the right. We've got about eight feet left, save my par. Give that a try next time you've got the ball below your feet in a bunker and it's a difficult shot. Stay low, you'll get out of there nicely and all your buddies will be amazed. So with the bunker shots, let's recap. Good grip, we're not gonna choke down on the bunker shots, good grip. Widen the stance a little bit, allow the face to be open, that exposes the bounce of the club. Nose and sternum towards the back of the ball if we're trying to hit it out high and get it to stop. If we need to uh, play like a fried egg lie, nose and sternum would go at the front of the ball with a closed club face, and we're just gonna kind of gouge that thing out and let it, let it run on the green. Give this stuff a try next time you're in the bunker. A proper setup gives you a better chance of getting that out of the sand in one try. Thanks for watching the bunker video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Click up here to subscribe. Be on the lookout for new videos.